yell out hard to waters. Make it loud and hopefully it'll work because we can't back these trams up. Well, we can, but it's not a, not a very pretty sight. So ready? Help me out now. You know your part. One, two, three. wondering, no, this is not where the Ten Commandments is filmed. It was used, though, in Mel Brooks' History of the World, Part 1. We're going well below sea level today, so if you have any personal belongings on the floor, you might want to pick them up, hold them on your lap, as water does tend to splash in. While we drive through, stay seated, keeping your arms inside the tram. Uh, you don't want to reach out and touch this water. The unique perspective we're about to have over here on the left allows us to view the Venture and Skull Island from the point of view of the camera. Pretty much the same view Peter Jackson had while filming King Kong, so have your own cameras out. You won't want to miss this. The bigotry from King Kong is on the left. There's nothing happening on the right side. But you're about to see the Venture and Skull Island. They're highly detailed miniatures. Believe it or not, that's the biggest Skull Island ever got in the film. If you laugh at your monitors, we'll explain how the 